All right, I'm still in the dubstep session, and I've moved over to the mix window. And you might say, gee, where did all the faders go? Well, view, mix window views. I can turn them off just so we can take a look at the inserts on the top and the names of the tracks on the bottom without pushing them off the screen. Notice that this track has a lot of interesting different sounds to it. They're all coming from the same device. They're all instances or iterations of the Expand plugin. It's a pretty versatile synth virtual instrument inside of Pro Tools. So let's take a look at what it does and how we can use it. So we'll start with the beat and open up that instance of it. An Expand patch has four elements available. This is the power switch for each of the four elements. So you can turn off one at a time and concentrate on what you want to listen to. These are your continuous controllers across the top. If you want to assign a particular controller on your keyboard to a particular parameter, that's easy to do there. The smart knobs means once you twirl it, it should realize that that's what you want to assign it to. There's an overall level of output for this expand instance. Each of the four parts has its own level, its own pan, and two different effects. The effects you choose down here at the bottom just click on the header, lots of different parameters to pick from. You can turn effects on or off with their own power switch. You can transpose any part. The top numbers are semitones up and down. The bottom numbers are synths or parts of semitones. You can set the range for any of the four parts, the top note and the bottom note. So if you only want this sound to play on one key, you set the high key and the low key to be the same key, and then it will only trigger on that one key. That's very handy when you're doing sound design type things, like if you're doing theatrical work and you want the gunshot to be on one particular key. You have a choice of polyphonic or mono. You can have more than one note or simply one note. So the subsequent note cuts off the first note if you're in mono. On the right, you can have an arpeggiated sound, or you can just have it play, just trigger the regular sound. So where are all these sounds, these ones that we saw back here in the mix window, where are they all stored? Up here in the library. See where it says factory default? Click on the triangle there. You'll see that you have 29 folders of sounds. So if I go to soft pads, I can have the plus patches, which there are 83 of those and then the non-plus patches below those, and there's 68 of those. Each one of these patches is going to contain four elements. Not all of them contain four, but they're going to contain as many as they need to give you that sound that you're choosing. So up here in Soft Pads Aeronaut, I'm on 024 drums on every single one of these. It's not that easy to find your way around here. You would think that this 24 might have something to do with that 24. In reality, that 24 refers to this library and the kick selector inside of there. It's a little tricky to navigate your way around Expand, but you'll figure it out once you start working with it a bit and realize that you can change any part inside of any patch. If I go back to Revert to Saved, back to my mix window and all I have to do is take away meters and faders and this is the menu of patches you can also see them in this layout so there is the first folder and then there's all 29 of them listed there if you've worked with synths you've seen this sort of layout with your patch editor if you're auditioning a patch this lower right hand corner is handy you just sort of play the loop you tell Pro Tools to increment every couple seconds, and that way you don't have to keep tapping through all these various patches. It's just going to scroll through them and increment. The Expand window can show you the various tracks inside the window so that we don't have to open up an individual instance of this Expand for every single track. There are other virtual synths inside of Pro Tools that we'll look at, but Expand is very powerful, very versatile, and gives you a lot of options.